What is this? Is it a pizza? Is it a pie? Нет, you fools! This is a legendary mushroom pizza pie in a skillet deluxe. Rejoice, my friends! I will show you how to make it. Let's start with the fruits of the forest. The shrooms. We need about 8 to 10 ounce of regular default mushrooms. By the way, friends, do you know that mushroom is very scary? I play a video game recently, and in the game mushroom penetrates the human brain and control it. Very disturbing. But good game, at least 5 out of 7. Our mushrooms are not scary, but they are dirty. So let's watch those little piggies. I know, I know, there are conflicting opinions about washing mushrooms. But I have an opinion that I don't like to eat dirt. Good. Roughly chop them. They are going to dramatically decrease in size, so do not worry about them being too big. Perfect. Now onion. This one is a chunky boy, just like me. If anything, I would probably go with something a bit smaller. But it is what it is. Roughly chop it and set it aside for later. Heat up some oil in the skillet and dump the mushroom skis into it. Cook them on medium heat, stirring periodically until they lose some water and start to gently brown up. Delightful! Dump in the onion, generous pinch of kosher salt and cook until onions are soft and uh, translucent, which means transparent, but not really. Now, we need to let the mushrooms and onions to cool down a bit. I usually put them in a colander thing, so that any leftover oil will drip away. While they are cooling down, let's prepare a simple door. A canvas that will hold our masterpiece. We will need 160 grams of all-purpose flour. Or one and a quarter of a cup, if you like to live dangerously. One teaspoon baking powder, one teaspoon kosher salt, one tablespoon olive oil and a half cup of milk. Mix it all into a mighty ball of dough. Knead it for like 20 seconds or so and let it rest for 5 to 10 minutes. If your dough is too wet, add a bit more flour until it stops being wet. Excellent! Now let's finish the filling. One thingy of green onion, finely chopped. Alarming amount of garlic, also finely chopped. And cheese. Whatever cheese you like, about 4 to 5 ounces. I'm just going to cut this guy in half and grate it on the grate with the great hole. Combine all the filling ingredients together, mix them real well and set them aside for later. Back to the door, let's roll it out. I will be using this 9 inch cast iron skillet, so we want to roll out something that might potentially fit into it. If we won't screw up too much. Yeah, this will do. Gently plop it into the skillet. You might need to stretch it out a bit or remove the loose parts. No worries if it does not look perfect, nothing in life is. Splendid! Add the filling and gently spread it out with a spatula. Put it into the oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and bake for about 25 minutes. And 25 minutes later here it is! Look at this beauty, soft and fluffy crust and delicious cheesy filling. I'm drooling very hard at the moment, my friend. But it is not done yet. For a final touch we are going to sprinkle it with fresh oregano leaves. This makes it smell almost like a pizza, which it is not, in case I was not clear before. Eat it while it's hot, or wait until it's cold so you can heat it up and eat it while it's hot. It's very delicious, my friend. And this is it, friends. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Roughly, <coughs> roughly, <coughs> <coughs> stupid virus.